Now, what you saw there is one of these CSI shows. There's like 19 of them. They're in Miami, New York, LA. And, you know, I remember from <clears throat> years past, this, uh, these type of shows and uh, you know, written on CBS. Now, like many of you, and this is more of a common thing over the course of the uh, past 10 years, how many more people do you know that have said, oh, uh, oh, I don't watch TV or I don't own TV? You know, that demographic, which uh, in the beginning used to seem so foreign, you know, like, uh, like, what, you don't own a TV or you don't watch TV? What is wrong with you? What are you, like an alien? That has uh, grown. So now I've joined that demographic over the course of three years. So what you what you clearly saw here, terrible acting, all the stereotypical characters, uh, trash can of Hollywood, the mafia culture revolutionaries, uh, conglomerate communist. Led to believe now, every ensemble now on, on television is the following. This is how cliche. They pride themselves on being the, the, the counterculture, you know. So you, you have the... Uh, Token blacks now on television. You have the token Hispanics. You have the token whites that are always apologizing and sorry. And then you have to have a token gay guy in the group too. Then there's the token women that never want a man to open a door, never want a man to get in their way. They can do everything a man can do. They can do it better now. And that is the modern television of the 21st century because everyone that was uh, serving it is dead, on the run, going to be dead, flea infested, or hiding somewhere. Everyone that has uh, worshipped the golden calf of these uh, decrepit, dying Hollywood type uh, either woke up or they doubled down and, and they're probably one of, part of the dead demographic. But to get back to what, what television has turned into is someone who grew up on television, someone who studied television, someone who wanted to be. Uh, on a like a, a crew of television. I, I loved every concept. It wasn't just about being on, on cameras because I love traveling. I love the uh, educational purposes of, you know, of what that entails. But uh, this is beyond fake, complete, hokey, tacky, bubblegum, teen beat, disgusting, embarrassing kind of an art form. And the actors playing these characters, I wouldn't tell the difference if they were just playing themselves. Well, that age-old question is art imitating life or is life imitating art? You know, now we know and now we understand what art was imitating and what it wasn't. Well, the truth is art was projecting reality on us. Art, art was coming from a very dark place called the dark art. And these people have built these huge networks from brimstone and fire versus of the satanic bible they built their foundation on a dark harvested soulless decrepit ground of lucifer's cave and it's caving in so rest in peace hollywood but uh, i'd be lying rest in hell this is Dean Ryan signing off, and uh, I'm just telling you like it always should have been. Thank <laughs> you.